A new study finds that filters designed to remove toxic forever chemicals may also remove other cancer-linked contaminants from your drinking water. WRL environmental reporter Liz McLaughlin explains what the findings mean for your health. PFAS, often called forever chemicals, are man-made compounds found in everyday products and firefighting foam. They build up in the body and the environment and have been linked to serious health problems. A new study shows treatment systems that remove PFAS can also filter out other harmful chemicals. And some North Carolina utilities are already planning upgrades. <laughs> The study by the Environmental Working Group analyzed 19 utilities nationwide that installed advanced treatment systems like granular activated carbon, ion exchange, and reverse osmosis. Researchers found those upgrades lowered PFAS and other pollutants, including disinfection byproducts, chemicals formed when chlorine reacts with organic matter. Some of those byproducts have been linked to cancer, liver damage, and reproductive health risks. PFAS are never detected alone. So when systems are detecting PFAS, they're also detecting other contaminants. And systems require advanced filtration to address that contamination, but the, those treatment types are effective for many other contaminants as well. Fayetteville's Public Works Commission plans to build a $116 million filtration system in 2026 to remove PFAS. Tests show it could also cut other contaminants. Raleigh water already meets current PFAS limits, but has set aside $170 million for possible upgrades if rules get stricter. The EPA set its first national PFAS drinking water standards last year with strict limits on several chemicals. Federal regulators, though, are now considering changes that could regulate fewer compounds and give utilities more time to comply, a move some scientists say could delay health protections.